Is it theft or is it robbery? Did you steal something from somebody or did you rob them of it? Which one is it? What is the difference between theft and robbery? Well, robbery is theft, but with one additional aggravating factor. In this video, I'll tell you what that aggravating factor is and how it works in real life. Hello folks, I'm Andrew Williams and this is another edition of the Fedora Lawyer. I'm board certified in criminal law and I have 30 years of trial experience behind me. On this channel, I share my years of experience with you to give you a better understanding of the law and maybe use it to your benefit. First off, you need to know the definition of theft and robbery. Now, theft and robbery are obviously distinct criminal offenses, each with its own legal definition and elements. Now, the key difference between theft and robbery lies in how the offense occurs. Theft, which is sometimes called larceny, is when you unlawfully take or appropriate someone else's property with the intent to permanently deprive them of that property. The key element in theft is the act of taking or appropriating someone else's property without their consent. Robbery is when you unlawfully take someone else's property with the intent to permanently deprive them of it with the added element of force, intimidation, or threat to get the property from them. The key element in robbery that makes it more serious than theft is the use of force, intimidation, or threat in the process of taking the property from the other person. Now, force, intimidation, or threat is the aggravating factor that turns a simple misdemeanor theft into a very serious felony robbery. Unlike theft, robbery requires you to have direct confrontation with another person to get that property from them and that person feels threatened or intimidated by you, or you actually hurt the person in the process. Even if you hurt someone unintentionally in taking the property, you still committed the offense of robbery. Say, for example, you just push someone while you're making your getaway and that person falls and breaks his leg. That would be classified as a robbery instead of a simple theft. This is because you put your hands on another person while committing the offense of theft or making your getaway. Someone is harmed in the process. In most cases, threat or intimidation will involve a gun or other deadly weapon. But even if you don't use a gun or some other type of weapon, you can still commit the offense of robbery. In summary, the key difference between theft and robbery lies in that aggravating factor of the use of force, intimidation, or threat. You commit a theft by taking someone else's property with the intent to permanently deprive them of it. You commit a robbery by taking someone's property with the use of force, intimidation, or threat. So theft is the taking of another person's property without that person's consent, and robbery is the taking of another person's property without that person's consent, and you hurt that person in the process, even if it's not intentional or you intentionally threaten the other person, like with a gun or a knife or some other method. Therefore, robbery is always much more serious than theft. I do hope this information was helpful. I hope you're a little bit wiser and you understand the difference between theft and robbery. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button for me. Maybe someone else will come across it and find it useful as well. If you like getting videos like this on legal topics, you can also subscribe to this channel. You can even check out this video if you want to know how to get off probation early. A lot of my clients stay on probation the whole time. Don't do that. Get off early if you can. You can also visit my website at fedoralawyer.com if you have more questions. For now, this is the Fedora Lawyer signing off.